You're such an asshole. Tesselconsulting.com, we have a clearing test request for two individuals today, Noam Chomsky and Norman F Finkelstein. Um, if you don't know what the Clary test is, it is the single largest, and I wish I was joking, I'm not, it's the single largest advancement in the field of political science. Political science is not a real field, it's a bunch of lazy people that didn't want to do math, and they're kind of fat and bald and ugly, including the women, they come pay political science professors, there's a science, see? It's a science to one group of people who are parasites and they want the money of the producers, and then things happen, and oh my god, I have a doctorate. Um, so... I noticed very early on, uh, like, you know, there are these four things that I've found uh, that people who want to run for public office typically have. Tip politicians typically have these four things in common. That's where the scumbags, they come from money. They majored in stupid stuff that indicating they never intend to work a real job. Shocks of shocks, they never work a real job. And then uh, what they do today, uh, they just live off of the wealth and not do anything productive. And I think the guy who, like, where I kind of noticed it, was Mark Dayton, because he was not only our governor today, but he was our senator about a decade ago. And before that, he's just this trust fund baby in Minnesota. His dad started uh, Dayton's, which then became Macy's, but also the Target Corporation. I think some of you may have heard of that one. Uh, so this, this inferior piece of shit fuck, and I do mean every word, Mark, if you're listening and not drunk. And <laughs> you guys look into this guy. You, you, you just like, you're like, God, I don't want to hang out with him at all. So when you apply the Clary test, for every one of these flaws, you get a point. And if you got a score of four, that's bad, that's very bad. And the ideal score is zero, so it's like golf. And so very few people do get a score of zero. Rex Tillerson is one of them. Fair amount of Eagle Scouts uh, and a fair amount of mafia people, uh, booze runners, uh, because they came from poverty and they worked real jobs and it was illegal. But uh, in the end, this test determines whether or not you should trust these people, they should run for office, and then what I always like to have, would I like to have a beer with them? So, let's take a look at Noam Chomsky. Remember having him shoved up my ass back in college. Oh, did you listen to Noam Chomsky? I think he's a linguistic person, which... I'm going to study linguistics. Oh, there's a science here. Oh, he's 90. Uh, Noam Chomsky, born 28, American linguistic professor, philosopher, cognitive science, historian, social critic, and political activist. Okay, so he's never worked a real job in his life. Sometimes described as a father of modern linguistics, which is in a field. Chomsky is also a major figure in analytic philosophy and one of the founders of the field of cognitive science. He's an author of over 100 books, linguistics, war, blah, 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 blah. He aligns with anarcho -syndica syndicalism and libertarian socialism, and that right there, okay, guys, I know he's Noam Chomsky. I know he's an older man. I know he's just been sat cooped up in those pearly uh, ivory towers there. Um, there's no such thing as libertarian socialism. That right there should just debunk this person. And yes, all of his life's work. Libertarian means low taxes and maximum social freedom, not high taxes, because that's the opposite of liberty, the base word. But you see, he's a linguistics, and you just assumed that liberty was a part of the liberty. It's like, uh, uh, words do have meaning. Anyway. Uh, born uh, to middle-class Ashkenazi Jewish immigrants of Philadelphia, Chomsky developed an early interest in anarch anarchism from alternative bookstores in New York City. At the age of 16, he began studying studies at the University of Pennsylvania, taking courses in linguistics, mathematics, and philosophy. From 1951 to 1955, he was born to Harvard's there's these societies of fellows. Let's just get out of it. All right, he doesn't come from money. Uh, middle income, so he doesn't get a point for that. Let's go to his education. Chomsky, age 16. Philosophy, logic, and languages. Developed a primary interest in learning Arabic. Living at home, he, fund he funded his undergraduate degree by teaching Hebrew. If you're living at home... And I know this is in the 40s and 50s. University, he was there for a full decade. I'm giving him half a point because he was somewhat spoiled. If you're living with mommy and daddy, uh, what did he get a degree in? Morphophenomics of modern Hebrew. That's, that was his, uh, his honors thesis. Can you just tell he had no intention of working at the mines or working a real job? 
Um, here's the problem that we face. He's so old that back in the day, uh, anybody who any college any degree was a good degree. Uh, it did take rigor, intellectual rigor, to go to college back then. So unfortunately, like today, where it's like, I'm gonna major in child psychology and English, and my goodness, where it's like, yeah, you're a lazy fuck. No, you get a point. It's a little harder for older people. Like, no, uh, I'm going to say we're gonna give him half a point as well. So combined with him coming from a kind of a cushy background. It's pretty clear he had no intention of working a real job in his life. Not at all. 60, he's kind of like the living the anarchy. You know, the guy with the trench coat back in high school because they didn't want to join the football team and work hard. I'm like a socialist libertarian, man. Uh, he had no, no intention of working. So I'm, I'm going to give him, we got one point with that. What has he done? University, early career befriended two linguists at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and later whom secured him an assistant professorship at MIT in 1955. Academia is not a real degree. I know it's MIT um, until I start seeing uh, spend his time on a mechanical translation project and the other half teaching courses in linguistics and philosophy. He later described him as a pretty free and open place open to experimentation without rigid requirements. So it's perfect to someone of my idiosyncratic interests and work. Promoted to a position of associate professor. He was employed by Columbia visiting professor. Okay. Academia, academia, academia. Anti-Vietnam War activism and prominence. Okay, so you're an activist, not a real job. I mean, I, I'm just, I am shocked at how much is written about this guy. When, it, I don't, I, what, what is his big deal? Even when I was in college and I'm trying to jam him down, I throw him like, what is, why is he something, you know? Uh, I just, uh, like, uh, it's it's kind of a similar on the same on the opposite side of the political spectrum. Norm, uh, not Norm, Jordan Peterson. Well, he's yeah, a smart guy, but what what's the big hoopla? Why him? Weren't there other professors that were saying the same thing? Probably not, because no one has balls. Clarified his earlier works. Chomsky's publications expanded and clarified his earlier works, addressing his critics and updating his grammatical theory. Boy, studying shit. Oh, I'm going to study why the grass is green. Reaganite era, work on the media, increased political activism, linguistic theory. Never had a real job. It's just never had a real job. What is he doing now? Well, he's old. He's retired. But, you know, he never really did. So he's got a point coming from relatively well-to-do folks. Worthless degree could buy one point. Adjusting for age. Never worked a real job, never had, currently, what, old, dying? I mean, if you retired from the military, you put in your time, okay, cool. Or uh, Nigel Farage, where it's like, no, I did my, like, a true statesman, I'm out of here. I'm like, George Well, I'm out of here. Uh, he gets a three. He gets a three. Um, would I want him to run for public office? No, the man has not worked a real job. He's not a real man. He's not worked a real job. Um, would I like to have a beer with him? No. I don't care how much education he has. It's all in bogus fields. And I'd be horrendously bored talking to Noam Chomsky. I'd have no intellectual... I'd rather go play with my three-year-old niece and we'll make paper airplanes. That would be more intellectually stimulating than Noam Chomsky. He's just not. He's, this, is, this is a faux intellectual. And, the, and it, maybe, maybe he's smart in the fact that he masterfully, in 90 years of his life, never had to work a real job. Maybe that's his true brilliance. And you guys allowed for it. Well, man, he's like against the Vietnam War, man, and he thinks that libertarian socialism is a thing, man. He could be just laughing at this. He could not believe one freaking thing he's written. He's like, well, these people are going to eat it up. But, no, I, I, I think he actually probably does, as indicated by him not majoring in a, a rigorous uh, field and never leaving academia. Um, no, I don't see what the big deal about this guy is, and no, I would not like to have a beer with him. I, I would I'd rather watch female Ghostbusters than talk to this 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 faux intellectual. So, all right, the next one, who is Norman Finkelstein? I always love him. He's brilliant. He just advocates more of other people's money. Norman Finkelstein. I don't know who this guy is. Norman Finkelstein. This guy looks like he has testosterone. This guy looks like he might have actually worked a real job. I could be wrong. Oh, Norman Finkelstein is American political science activist professor. Okay, where do you think this one's going to go? 
It looks like he hit a gym. I'll grant you that. Maybe he worked a real job when he was younger. His primary fields of research are the Israeli-Palestinian conflicts and the politics of the Holocaust. An interest motivated by the experiences of his parents who were Jewish Holocaust survivors. He is a graduate of Bingham University where he received a PhD in political science, worthless degree. And he is old enough, he should have known better. So like, whereas Noam is a World War II generation, um, Norman uh, is baby boomer. His faculty positions, do, 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 do. he's assistant professor since 2001, age 64, so he was, he subtract from it, so it was like in 40, he was a professor there. Uh, in 2007, after a highly publicized feud between Finkelstein and academic opponent Alan Dershowitz, how, how do you, what, what's, how is this a highly publicized feud? How do you feud? I'm assuming, I don't know his politics, I'm just going to assume, uh, Norman's advocacy is other people's money, and Alan Dershowitz's advocacy is not other people's money. And then they fight over that. I mean, how, how tiring does politics get? I just simplified politics. Not only did the Clary Test simplify politics for you, and who to trust and who should run for public office, I just simplified all of politics throughout history of time. They got the money, let's get it, and come up with reasons to take it. That's it. That's it. And they're like, no, we worked hard for our money, and fuck you. That's politics. Yeah, they throw out the history of everything. Uh, Fickelstein's tenure bid at DePaul was denied. Fickelstein was placed on administrative leave for the 2007-2008 academy, and on 2007, he announced his resignation after coming to a settlement with the university on generally undisclosed. So well, why was why was he laid off? I, he, you'd think you'd have the freedom of speech, right or left. I don't really know. An official statement from DePaul strongly defended the decision to deny Fickelstein the uh, tenure, stated that outside influence played no role in the decision in 2008. He was banned from entering Israel for 10 years. What the hell did this guy do? Let's go to the publicized feud. Okay. Shortly after the publication of The Case for Israel by Harvard Law School, Alan Dershowitz, Norman Finkelstein alleged that it was a collection of fraud, falsification, plagiarism, and nonsense. Finkelstein further derided the book, remarking if Dershowitz's book were made of cloth, it wouldn't even use it as a schmata. His book is such garbage. This is what he got. This is what he got busted for. Finkelstein charged that Dershowitz had engaged in plagiarism, plagiarism in his use of Joan Peters' book from Time Immemorial. Denied the charges. Finkelstein aimed to debunk the case for Israel. God Almighty, he really had it out for Dershowitz. Wow, you guys are writing books to. I, I, I have, this sounds like a very boring pissing contest, but, and, and I don't know Alan personally, but intellectual inferiors. Background and education. <clears throat> Finkelstein has written his Jewish parents' experience of World War II. His mother, yeah, but he didn't go through World War II. After war, they met in a displaced camp, immigrated to the United States. Father became a factory worker, mother a homemaker, and later a bookkeeper. Okay, uh, Finkelstein's mother was an ardent pacifist. Well, good for her. Um, so he did not come for money. We know that. So he gets, that's good. He, he's, he grew up in Brooklyn, in the, in Borough Park, then Mill Base, and then Brooklyn, New York, where he attended James High High School, and his memoir, because was now youth, and now reach his mother. When is it felt the origin of Vietnam? One child for Federal School's mother's emotional investment in left-wing humanitarian causes as a bordering on hysteria. It's funny that it was socialism that almost killed his mother, yet she wanted to support socialism. Finkelstein, Finkelstein, reading Noam Chomsky. Oh, yeah. Finkelstein completed his undergraduate studies at Bingham, where deep admirer of Paul G. He was an ardent Maoist and was devastated by the news of the trial of the Gang of Four, an event which totally devastated him and led him to abandon Marxist-Leninism. Well, that's that's why you should you should abandon an ideology, because somebody got arrested. Master's degree in political science, PhD in political... Okay, so he gets a point there. His doctoral thesis on Zion... I don't care what his works are. It's, it's worthless. It's worthless. Um, books. More about this feud. More drama that I'd rather watch The View over. Criticism of Dershowitz. So he is defined by another man. Remember that. If you get obsessed with somebody and you go after him, you're defined by that person. I Controversies... 
The Night Entry into Israel, <clears throat> 2009 is a film. Statements on Israel, Hezbollah and Hamas, Charlie Hebdo, books, books, books. Let's go back up. Almost death and destruction. I'm just trying to see if he's done anything outside of academia. Like, oh, he worked in. Okay, um, he's got a point, uh, worthless degrees. I don't see any real world working experience. And what's he doing? He's a professor too. Okay, good for you, you're a hippie. He's a, he's a leftover hippie, that's all he is. Uh, the only thing he doesn't get a point is because he did come from a, a poor family, so that's good. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he's been teaching in 2015. Uh, yeah, three, three points. Him and... No, didn't come from money. That's about it. Uh, should uh, he run for public office? No, this man should not run for public office. He's not a real man. He's never worked a real job in his life. Unless, unless I missed something on his resume here. Uh, would I like to have a beer with him? Hell no. Again, I'm equally unimpressed with this man's man's uh, professor, uh, profession and career. Uh, merely advocating for other people's money for your entire life is is not an achievement. And especially hiding and, and cowering away in academia. Um, no, highly unimpressed with him. So, yeah, I, 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 I know Noam Chomsky, not personally, but because again, like I said, they're jamming him down our throats in school. Maybe Norman is the new Noam Chomsky. Oh, I'm going to get the kids to listen to this guy. So, yeah, you can hate Israel all you want, and you can, you can do I I just don't care. I really don't care. Um, that's about it. All right, you guys got questions, the old captain's got answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.